Psalm 23 and verse 2 says, He makes me lie down in green pastures and He leads me beside still waters. You know, the world tells us that the grass is greener on the other side, but the scripture tells us that it is greener where the Lord is. Amen. He makes me lie down in green pastures. This morning, receive grace to lie down in green pastures. This morning, receive grace to rest in the Lord. This morning, receive grace to believe the promises of God. He leads me beside still waters. Church, the Bible says that he is the prince of peace. May he give you peace this morning in the storm. May he give you rest in chaos. May he give you clarity where there is confusion. And may he give you direction where there is uncertainty. If you receive it this morning, say, I receive it. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 25 says, I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. This morning, if you are here and you are weary in any way, in every area, if you are feeling weak, if you are feeling drained, if you are feeling tired and faint, just lift up your hands this morning as a sign of receiving, as a sign of faith, as a sign of saying, Lord, I need you. The Bible tells us that he is the living water and he is the bread of life. I pray in the name of Jesus and I declare over you this morning, Receive refreshment in the name of Jesus. Receive fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Receive strength in your bodies in the name of Jesus. Receive life in the name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 3, it says, For I will pour out water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. We need to understand that the God that we serve is a God of generations. Amen. This morning I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your life. This morning I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on your children. This morning I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the descendants after you in the name of Jesus. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your marriages. I, de I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your marriages. Church, let me tell you something. The things that I stand here and I declare unto you, they are the word of the living God. They are not my choice of words. They are not from my mind. They are spirit and they are life. Amen. And the Bible tells us that the word of the Lord, it is perfect. When I make these declarations and you say amen, what you are saying is I come under it and I receive it. So don't let the amen be work for you. Let it be a privilege that you have to partake in. Amen. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your marriages. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your singleness. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your family. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your ministry. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your walk with the Lord. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your business and your workplace, your finances. I declare an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I speak the resurrection power of Jesus over every area of your life that may be dead or dry or parched or empty. I speak life in the name of Jesus. This morning, if you receive life, say, I receive it. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 25 says, A generous person will prosper and whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. The Bible tells us that if we give a cup of water to a prophet, we will receive a prophet's reward. This morning, I declare over you that for any time that you were a blessing to anybody, the Lord will bless you. For any time that you have given a cup of
of water to anybody, to a child of God, to a disciple of God, to a prophet of God, the Lord himself will quench your thirst. For any time that you have given your time or your talents, your wisdom, may the Lord reward you in the name of Jesus. And for every time that you have been a source of refreshment, the Bible is clear. The Lord will refresh you. If you receive refreshment this morning, say, I receive it. And give a clap offering unto the Lord this morning. He is faithful and he is good. He is the living water and he is the bread of life. And he is here this morning and he is pouring out, pouring out on us times of refreshing, times of refreshing strength and grace to continue in the mighty name of Jesus.